up everybody I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do a distorted mountain graphic. So I grabbed this image from Unsplash in here and we're just going to open it up in Photoshop and I'm going to size this for social media so I'm going to go file new. And I size my social media graphics 1500 by 1800 pixels, 72 resolution, RGB color mode, hit create, and then we're going to drag and drop this picture over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command T, I'm on a Mac, and use the transform tool, grab the corner shrink down this image a little bit more. So about right there. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is we're going to grab this uh, magnetic lasso tool and we're going to cut out this mountain image here by just following along the edge of the mountain. All along the way I'm just making little clicks so that it snaps to the object that we want it to. And then we'll just go all the way down to the bottom and come back around. And you'll know you're done when it's making this dotted line. And then I'm going to hit copy and paste. Command C, Command V if you're on a Mac. And then I'm going to hit Command C, Command V one more time duplicate it. I'm just going to drag this back down to where it should be. I don't know why it did that, but so now we got two layers here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this eye tool so we can't see this top layer. And then on this layer number two, we're going to go filter, distort, wave, And we're going to adjust these settings right here. So my number of generators is five. My wavelength is all the way to the left. And this one under here is set to 25. Amplitude, you can make adjustments with that, but I'm gonna set it 163. And then the max is at 672. Scale horizontal is at one, and vertical is at 30. So you can make adjustments with that. I keep it about right there at 21. And <clears throat> sometimes I hit randomize a couple times until you see the effect that you like. I like that. So then I'm going to hit OK. And now we got this distorted mountain. And if we click on layer three, We can move that back to where it's supposed to be. I think it's about right there. And this layer underneath looks like that. You can move it around. And I'm going to hold shift and hold on the top here and just stretch that a little bit. And I'm gonna grab the sides and bring those in left and right. I'm, the whole time I'm holding down shift just so that I can get this to go all the way to the top like that. And that's the effect that I want. It looks the way I want it to look. Um, so one more thing I'm gonna do is I don't want this white space at the top. So click on layer one and grab the rectangle marquee tool and just drag over this section. Don't go all the way to this mountain top, but just grab a little section right here and hit Command T you'll see these cursors come up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab this top one and I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna drag this top part all the way up here so that there's no more white space. And that stretched the background without 
distorting this mountain image because we didn't grab, if I would have grabbed this mountain image um, and, and stretched it, it would have been distorted, but I just grabbed the top background section. And now I'm gonna um, view these two layers here, layer two and layer three. And now this is the effect that we got right there. So that's what we want. And now we'll just throw some text on there. <clears throat> I'm gonna use, um, let's see. I'm gonna use this text I think I bought from Creative Market called Black Extra Bold. You can use whatever text you want. I think, uh, I think a serif font will look good, so. Mess with my kerning here and my spacing. So there you go, pretty simple little graphic there. I might adjust this later, but for right now, this is what I wanted to say look like. And voila, done. One more step I'm going to show you guys if you've ever watched any of my, uh, saw any of my graphics, you always ask. How do I get that noise effect, um, like a grain effect? So if you click on uh, layer one, you hit Command Shift A. It opens up what's called a raw camera raw filter, and you can edit this photo. And all I'm doing is I'm going clicking on the FX button, and I'm turning the grain up. You can go up and down to wherever you like it, but I just usually add a little bit of grain. 55 looks good. And then you have to do that to every single layer. So Command Shift A, 55, make sure your settings are the same each time. And then the last layer, Command Shift A, 55. That's how I get a nice uh, noise layer effect. I hope that tutorial helped you guys. If you make a graphic like this, I'd love to see it. Um, tag me and I'll share it on my stories. Thanks guys.